happened to be another beautiful night by god's special grace it is um the third of november the third of november zero three one one two one that happens to be the fright number by god's special grace we are going to be cruising above our enemies level we are going to be cruising above our enemies level for the next um, one hour it's going to be awesome and it's going to be beautiful it's going to be awesome and that is going to be beautiful i want to thank god for each and every one of you for your life and i'm trusting god that god who has begun something new something supernatural 
he will do it and he will accomplish it. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, all of you, wherever you are. My name is Apostle Kofi Annan, God's end time apostolic evangelist. I thank God for um, the lives of all the ministers and all the pastors of Destiny Apostolic Church International. God bless each and every one of you. Senior Pastor Richard and the rest of your pastors, Pastor Joe, Pastor Bismarck, Pastor Victor, and the rest of the pastors. Thank you all so, so, so much for joining us. Nana Jumain, um, one of my chief producers, together with Joshua and Florence. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Welcome on board as we empower ourselves and break the limitations of the enemy. Young prophet, God bless you, Elijah. Thank you very much for your support. This evening. appreciate. Thank God. I'm trusting and believing God that the next one hour ahead of us is going to be awesome. It's going to be beautiful and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I would like you to press the share button. All the 28 of you on the Facebook, please press the share button. All the 28 of you on the Facebook, in fact, the 29 of you on the Facebook now, please press the share button. And then also all the 11 of you on YouTube, please copy the link and send it around. I can see Senior Pastor Richard has started sharing, Florence is sharing, and the rest are copying the link and they are also sharing it around that is so good that's so beautiful <clears throat> you can also do same by copying the link and also sharing it getting friends neighbors and loved ones to get themselves connected so please all the 29 of you i want you to copy the link and then share it on youtube and also if you're on facebook i like you to press the share button all the 30 of you we are 30 now so uh, let's let's keep on sharing it's not about how many people come to watch, but how many people join forces together to pray. How many people join forces together to pray? One will chase thousand, two will chase ten thousand. So both of us, uh, me and you, chasing, we are going to be chasing more. Um, today, and I, my network is not that stable. In the event that um, there are breakups here and there, please bear with me. Um, let's just crack on. Even if you can't hear my voice, keep on praying until there. Uh, the video resume. Sometimes it will be pausing here and there, uh, but um, I'm trusting that it will come back again. I'm trusting it will come back again. And, and let's keep on firing. Let's keep on firing. Firing the enemy. Making the enemy to understand that we are not afraid of his devices and his strategies. Um, all the enchantment and sorceries and diviners that he's operating through them. We're telling the devil, you are a liar. We are much more than a conqueror. The Bible says that all things work together for good to them that love God, those who are called according to his purpose. Get some water by your side. I have my tea here. And as I, as I sip my tea, I am praying alongside. So you can grab a bottle of water close by you as we keep on praying and as we keep on um, firing. Hallelujah. So please press the share button. All the 36 of you on the Facebook, please press the share button. Press the share button. Let's get as many people together to come and watch us and then to pray with us. Amen. Please join me as we lift up our voice and thank God for today. Today is a new day. And a new day is today. It happens to be the 031121 the 3rd of November, 2021. Honor God. Not everybody has got this this way. Today, somebody is still alive, but they are in prison. Others are in alive in detention center, whilst others are alive, but they are in hospital. Some others are alive, but they, they found themselves in terrible situation, sleepless nights, and many others. Please, thank God that you are home. Thank God you are home you are watching me. Thank God you are alive. Even though you are on medication, but somebody wish they would be on medication and be alive to enjoy what they have worked hard for, but they are not here. Please lift up your voice. Thank God. Honor God and appreciate him. Thank God. Honor God and appreciate him. Honor God and appreciate him. Honor God and I appreciate you. Honor God and 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 appreciate you. Honor God
We thank you, Lord. We honor you. We bless you. We worship you. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh Lord. Hallelujah, we thank you, oh Lord, I say, I just want to thank, thank you, oh Lord, oh Lord, I just want to thank, thank you, Lord, I just want to thank I just want to thank you. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. Lord. It is not by your, your strength, it is not by your power, but it is by your grace. I would like you to lift up your voice again and thank, thank the Lord. Father, you've made it possible for me to be alive today. I am seeing what I'm seeing not because of my righteousness. I am hearing what I'm hearing not because of my connections, not because of my ability to be able to look after myself well, but it is your uncommon grace and it is your mercy that has made it possible for me to be alive. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Son. Thank you, Holy God. Oh God, I thank you on behalf of my family. My nuclear family and extended family. I thank you, oh God. I thank you on behalf of my church, my members, my loved ones. I thank you. But I thank you for the Ghana community in Singula. Thank you for the Ghana community, the lives of them in the United States, in Germany, in Holland, and in other places. I thank you for your divine protection. You've not allowed some calamity to strike us. You've not allowed evil to be fall on us. Oh God. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. And the Bible also says we have all sinned and come short of your glory. So if we have all sinned and the wages of sin is death, then we should have died. But your grace has made it possible. So we say thank you. We say may your name be praised. We adore thee and we honor you. Thank you, Holy Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Let us lift up our voice and then ask God to forgive us and to mm. also cleanse us and Jesus. to also wash us. Yes, Lord. And to make us whole. Mm. Let, listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. You see, when Paul wrote to the church in Ephesus yes. and said to them that we should pray with all kinds of prayers, we should pray with all oh. kinds of prayers. And in the all kinds of prayers, there is one that is called prayer of confession. Mm -hmm. And in the prayer of confession, it is a means of us telling the Lord, according to 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, that if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, and to wash us and to make us as white as snow. Amen. So David, the summons according to Psalm 32, verse 5, said, then I acknowledge my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgive the guilt of my sin. And you forgive the guilt of my sin. And this is the psalmist. He says that he's not going to cover his iniquity, his transgression. He's going to confess it, and the Lord will forgive, and the Lord forgive. So I would like you to join me as we all pray to Jesus and ask Jesus to forgive us the Jesus. sins of commission and the sins of omission. Yes, the Lord. things we have done intentionally and those that we did unintentionally. Lift up your voice and let us pray. <laughs> Lift up your voice and let us pray. <laughs> 
we want to pray and ask for forgiveness and the cleansing by your blood. We ask that you wash us and you make us ask for us as to know in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. The Bible says that unless it is given to you from above, there is absolutely nothing you can do about. The Holy Scripture also says that we cannot do anything by our own strength. Mm. So when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you shall receive power. That's what we need. We need power for tonight's prayer session. Power. Power to bind, power to rebuke, power to cast out, power to torment, power to intimidate, power to frustrate, and power to render null and void any attempt and strategy of the enemy to frustrate us. So let us pray that Spirit of God, you are a promise to us. When the Bible says you come upon us, we shall receive power. So we call upon you, come upon us and give us your power. Lift up your voice and pray. 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 Yeni mazole bo shika braka ba. Lebro siya taraba ba. Lamran torbo shini brusha tolebo. Landa labra zale braka torbo shikro standa laba. Lebros Yes, Lord, we ask for your anointing. We ask for your grace. We ask for your anointing to function. God bless each and every one of you for joining me tonight. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be awesome. Please bear with me. And I know that my network is not that stable. So you'll be experiencing um, drop in here, uh, drop up here and there from the network. Sometimes it will freeze a little bit, but please bear with me. All the 44 of you on the Facebook, please press the share button. Press the share button. All the 44 of you, press the share button. Get somebody connected. Somebody on YouTube, please copy the link and share it among yourself. All who on the radio, you are welcome. God bless you. We thank God for your life. Remember, it is 21 minutes now after uh, since we started this broadcast. So for the next 39 minutes, it's going to be absolutely awesome. And it's going to be beautiful. Please mm -hmm. join me and then don't give up because God is still in the miracle doing business. Please. I want you to understand that prayer, I want to talk to you about the benefit of prayer. Benefit of prayer. And especially midnight cry. Midnight cry. Prayer. You see, the Bible says when men slept, that is when the enemy went to sow the weeks among the weeks. It's when men slept. You see, and the Bible also says that our prayer, the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. So when a righteous man pray and pray effectively, yeah, the Bible says that there is much impartation of that prayer. Amen. So the first thing I want you to understand is this. 
prayer changes things. Amen. Prayer changes things. So if you are watching me and listening to me right now and you are part here, prayer changes things. It brings about a change. It brings about a change. That is why James commanded us, according to James chapter number five, that if any one of you in trouble, verse 13, uh, and 14, 15, 16, 17. If any one of you in trouble, let him pray. Why is he asking that if any one of you in trouble, you should not go to your MP, you not go to police because you are in trouble. When you are in trouble, the place you go to is police station. But Jesus, through Apostle James, is saying that when you are in trouble, don't go to police. Mm. Pray. You see, Jesus. there are certain troubles that police can help you and it's especially uh, um spiritual troubles and that is what he was talking about he's not saying that uh and robbers robs you or the thief you don't tell police not physical thing he's talking about there are so many of us we are in a spiritual trouble and the only person that can help us is god so if any one of you is in trouble let him pray if any one of you among you is sick let him call the elders of the past, uh, the elders of the church, the pastors, and then let them pray, and the sick person will be made whole. So I want us to pray this prayer that, oh God, I believe in the power of prayer. That is why your word says, if I am in trouble, I should pray. So Jeremiah 33, verse 3 says, I should call upon you in the day of my trouble, and you shall answer. I call upon you, sister, you only know what you are going through. You know your trouble. Your trouble is different from my trouble. Some people have financial troubles, whilst others it is marital trouble. To others, it is um, sickness trouble. Many others, it is um, uh, disappointment trouble. And others, it is problem to do with their children, trouble from their children. So we are praying this serious prayer, oh God, your way says that prayer can solve all troubles. I come Amen. before you this early morning, assign an angelic host to attend to me, and you know that area of your life that you need God. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. 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 I believe in the power of prayer. I believe in the power of prayer. I believe in the power of prayer. Amen. 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 Man of God, please display James chapter 5, verse 13 on the screen. If you just join us, all the 44 of you on the Facebook, if you just join us, remember, today we are praying. We are praying the power of prayer. We are exercising the power and the anointing in prayer or of prayer to bring a turn around. And according to James 5, 13, he says that if any one of you is in trouble, let him pray. If any one of you is in trouble, let him pray. It tells you that there is power in prayer. And if any one of you happy, let him sing songs of praise, meaning that there is power also in praise. But we are exercising the first one. 
If yeah. any one of you is in trouble, let him Jesus. pray. So we are praying that, Father, I Jesus. am exercising the power of prayer Amen. to change and turn around my hopeless situation. To Amen. give me a turn around Jesus. and to smile at my direction with an uncommon <inaudible> testimony. Please lift up your voice. Pray. Please lift up your voice. Pray. If any one of you is sick, let him pray. Let him pray. Father, the power in prayer is what I exercise this uh, this day, and I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nini mahali braka pa, mali kaka tulu bo shiri bo shwa. Nini mahali braka pa, mali kaka tulu bo shiri bo in this spirit from the pit of hell fighting my destiny I refuse and reject any power that has been given mandate against me against my family and against my church members in the name of Jesus Jesus said did I not tell you if you believe in me you shall see the glory of the Lord I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
Awa Yesu Christo de mon. Father, I commit you into your hands. I commit into your hands. My life and that of my family. My life and that of my family. My family and that of my church members. I ask that O God you keep us in your secret place. For the Bible says those who bless in your secret place shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And we shall see of the Lord. You are a refuge. You are a fortress. We pray for God. Father, the Bible says, and we shall deliver us from the hands of the evil in the name of Jesus. Lord, we our life is in your hands. We pray for your refuge. We pray for your fortress. We pray that, oh God, you be our refuge. You be our fortress. Land terrible sunday. Isaiah 54. The Bible says that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that speaks against us shall be condemned by the oil of grace. I speak prophetically. I can't tell you, Bazu. Ibri Kitiri Kapa. Mamana Hania Katu. Mamos Kotori Moshia. Ratali Kapu. Mini Mazuria. Ibri Kitiri Kapu. Mandala Branda Labra Zolebra. Hania Kapa. Lebrosia Tarabra. Lebrosia Tarabra. Ya Amen. Man of God, according to uh, James chapter 5, verse 17, the Bible, in fact, when you study from 16, coming where he says that. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man availed much. Mm. Other translation lies that is powerful and effective. You yes. see, that is what we want to exercise the power of prayer and Amen. we want to activate the oil of grace so we can have a testimony. Definitely, we have to have a testimony this month. This is the eleventh month, the last month, mm. one month of the year. We started Jan we started twenty twenty one very soon. In fact, it's not 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 long ago. And here it is, right now. We are already in the eleventh month, the last but mm. one month. But I know that whatever you are going through and have gone through, uh, it has come to an end. By God's special, can I hear better? Amen. Amen. I want us to pray with uh, um, verse number seventeen. James chapter 5, verse 17, where the Bible says that Elijah was a man, a human being just like you. Mm. He prayed, in fact, he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain. rain. Again, he prayed that heaven should give rain, and heaven gave rain on the earth, and the earth produced its crops. Three other. Yeah. Elijah was a man. Elijah was not a superhuman being. Elijah mm -hmm. did not have any extraordinary thing that we do not have. So James is saying to us that Elijah was a man like us. And if he was able to make that great impact, we can also make it. Mm -hmm. So now, the two prayer points I want us to pray is that the Bible said, if he was able to, to shut the heavens, that Jesus. except only at my waist, there is no going to be rain or dew, except only at my waist. And there was no rain and there was no dew. The Bible says that if that happened, then we too can pray same prayer for heaven to respond. Amen. So our first prayer point out of these two 
uh, prayer point from the verse 17 is this one that father god any openings any openings uh, in our personal life in our family life uh, in our community any access that the enemy get into our life uh, and to frustrate us and to destroy us uh, and to terminate us uh, we shut every door amen when some form to remember Sonitia, our dear Prombia, but I'm sorry, say I done for Nabi Prombi, your map, you see, I sell your crater, sell your Duma, sell your Nigia, your Napoleon, a Prombia, when some are fast or a beer at the Atto, say, no more dare say, I foot to her, a tea tea free, a foot for her by heart. We are shutting every openings, we are crossing every openings that the enemy get access into our life. Let's Rabbi, I 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That we pray. Amen. Amen. And according to the James chapter number 5, verse 18, James chapter 5, verse 18, again he prayed. He prayed to open the heavens, and the heaven opened to give rain, and the earth produced its crops. You see, we are praying this prayer. Definitely any closed doors in your personal life, any closed doors in your marital life, any closed doors in your financial life, any closed doors in your spiritual life, we are praying seriously and vibrantly. And opening those closed doors, if you fell before a pun of water to and cover a chair upon a immortal to a in Cunya upon a in Cunya at a top room at Yawa, your bomb pay. Ye can't tell you that it's saying cover a chair to top room. A boss martyr to Ponomo, Sika Sema Yatu Tumudi at Yaw. We are breaking it free. We are breaking through. The Bible says, according to Isaiah 45. And the Lord God Almighty Himself will go before you, will a mountain, cut through gates of bronze, and then break down the iron bars of iron, and the yes, treasures Lord. and the riches stored God, God. in secret places, He will give on them unto you. God, God. The treasures and the riches stored in secret places, He will give them to you. So we mm. are also praying seriously and vibrantly, God, God. Yeah, breaking yeah. all forms of doors that are locked. And the other day, the Bible said the angel broke into eternity, uh, broke from eternity into time, and then went to open the door for Peter to exit. Open the door. Uh, let us pray that an angel of God assigned, should be assigned to any locked door of your life. Pray a serious prayer. One more Jesus. prayer. Bompaya Nedesos. Yeah, I am 
for your way, sister, I shall open my mouth wide and you will feel it in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God Almighty, as I open my mouth wide, Father, feel it. 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 I pray in the name of Jesus. I open the doors. I open the doors. I open the doors. All forms of doors closed against the people of God. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, but that's the
Amen. 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 Elijah was a man just like us, mm. and he prayed that it would not rain, and there was no rain. Mm. And he again prayed that it should rain, and it rained. So God was challenging us through the Apostle James, telling us that if a man like us could pray, who exercised the power of prayer to bring a transformation and a transition, to bring a turn around, then we can also exercise it. In mm. the area of your life that Amen. you needed God to bring a turn around, right now as a prophet of Yeshua, I speak prophetically unto your life. Please, I want you to receive it, okay? I am releasing for the next five minutes, I'm releasing prophetic word on you and then I will let you sleep. Amen. So the next, ah, I, I see chains broken. I see chains Amen. broken. Amen. I see chains broken. I see chains broken. I see chains broken. Yes, I Lord. see three horses, but they are all white. Three mm. horses, they are all white. And yes, I see Lord. some people sitting on it and they are Amen. riding on it. Amen. I am asking God, what am I saying? God is saying that the meaning of what I am seeing is that he is granting some people a divine speed. Amen. There are certain three people, you are watching me. I don't know who those individuals are, but I see three people sitting on a white horse. And they are, it's like they are racing each other. I am praying for divine provision for every one of you. Amen. And I am praying for God to connect you to someone Jesus. and or to some places oh, God, where Jesus. your life will be at a very fast speed. Amen. Anything that retrogresses anybody, I come against you. Amen. There is someone for the last two weeks, you've been having terrible tummy, stomach, uh, stomach upset. Your tummy has been paining you. You have been having problem with your tummy. There is someone you are watching me. Your problem, your tummy has been hurting you. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes, I Lord. speak prophetically. I don't know who that individual is, yes, but yeah. if you are like that and you are online here, I want you to grab water quickly. Let me know if it is you. Just type it on the comment section. It's me. 
but quickly dro- gra- grab water because I have less than five minutes to let you go to bed. I pray for you, those that, those individual, that individual, as you grab the water, I pray over the water, turn it into the blood of Jesus. Yes, when you drink it, may the blood of Jesus wash you, cleanse you, and make you whole, and heals your tummy for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Because there is a lot of delay because of the network, in case by the time you text, I haven't, uh, and, and this, we've gone past this section. Drink the water, okay? Drink the water and then um, put your hand on your belly button. You have to touch, touch your finger uh, with your belly button and say, I connect myself to the special grace of Yeshua. Father, Amen. let your blood flush out Jesus. all forms of sickness. Uh, uh, it is made so home for you yeah. in the name of Jim. There is a lady you have had a dream twice and you have been having an encounter with somebody sleeping with you in a dream the last couple of months. Uh, mm-hmm. It's been continuous. But previously, it used to be continuous. It stopped. You prayed. It stopped. And it has started again. I am praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ of mm-hmm. Nazareth. As God mm-hmm. lives and your soul lives, in a yes, spiritual Lord. marriage, in a spiritual uh, marriage, I cancel it. Amen. I cancel it in the name Amen. of Jesus. This morning, my son, this morning, I see you holding something like a sword, a sword. But in the sword, I see it's like when you put a sword or a knife into a fire and uh, you leave it in there for a long time, bring it out. You see the way it is it's kind of burning hot and it turns to red. That is kind of sword I see you are in your hand. I see it's like somebody standing in front of you. All of a sudden, the person turned to like the head of the person tend to be like a, a lion. And I mm. see the person is like coming to attack you like that. But yeah. with the sword, all of the sudden, you took the head of that mm. that um, um, entity or that human being whose head had turned to a lion. You chop it off. Spiritually, mm. the Lord is telling me that there is a battle that you have defeated. You have overcome Amen. a particular challenge through yes, some Lord. prayers you have been Lord. praying recently, there is victory for you. There is victory for you. Man. You have an, you have overcome a particular challenge. God is saying to me that I should tell you to keep on keeping on. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the hand of the Lord and the grace of Yeshua give you the breakthrough you need in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I see somebody, you are holding five eggs, and I see one has fallen. It is a sign and a symbol of death. You, the individual, for you to know that it is you, you've been having bad dreams about one of your children. You have been having continuous bad dreams about one of your children. It is not good. If you don't pray, the enemy will have an upper hand, and I am praying against it for you. I come against any bad dream, any attack on any of your children. Satan cannot snatch any one of you them from you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. I decree and I declare, may mm. God touch you and may yes. God heal you. May God save you and may Amen. God break you through in Amen. the name of Jesus. Satan, mm. you are a liar. Muni Mahani Akatuya. Jesus. May the glory of Yeshua be upon you. May the Amen. oil of Christ Jesus be upon you. Amen. May the anointing of Yeshua be upon you. Yes, Anybody Lord. who is going through eye problem, I see recently you have been you you are, you have been rubbing your eye, rubbing your eye. You have been rubbing your eye. I am coming against any blindness or any big issue to do with your sight. Anything that they, you have to go through a whole lot, including eye surgery. I am coming against it for you. Amen. Mata Libra Tuli Kaprontori Bakulia Gadushia. Menima Zuli Bakunia. As God lives and your soul lives, any big issue to do with your eyesight, I come against it. I heal you and I make you whole through the blood and the power of Yeshua. May the Lord touch you and may the Lord heal you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is a woman, you've been having swollen legs. Please be careful. Otherwise, 
it will tend to be something different, okay? It will be different and it will be something different. All of a the sudden, they will start telling you who lot and who lot. But I told Nasa or Babu Timmy, oh, how now Nasa Atata, Nasa or Nasa Pijipida, Muya Mammy and Sam, me but all Momo and Inco, Monko. Sometimes you don't, even if you don't feel anything, Krana, make sure they check it for you. Me bomb pie seems more dear, but in sequence of one name, so yeah. Yeah, I have a name to name to bones to do high and high tingling sensation, which are there is an attack against you. If you don't take care, ah, uh, there's going to be a black cloth in the, against you. Uh, I'll burn for number five no more. But my bomb pie is so yard yet. My bomb pie is sitting a mere more than the bomb. The bomb pie is used to move off flush it. If you have oil, please apply some of the oil at your cup and also at your feet, the swollen pad. And then claim healing for yourself. Okay. I pray for every one of you watching me. Amen. May the Lord touch you and may Amen. the Lord make you whole. Amen. I pray for every one of you. May God break you through and may God heal you. I pray for every one of you. May every door that is being shut against you be opened. Yes. And may any openings in the realms of the spirit against you be shut. You Amen. are secured. Your bodies are secured. It is well with you. I decree favor. I declare peace. I declare joy, happiness to be your portion. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yes. I call it done. Amen and amen. Amen. Beloved in Christ Jesus, God bless you. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Apostle Kofi Annan. If today happens to be the first time you did join me, you are welcome. This is called Midnight Cry. As you can see at my background um, in my studio, big screen here, you can see that it is the midnight cry. And the reason why we call it midnight is because we are crying in the middle of the night. Where we are, we are crying. And this, I am in United Kingdom, and it is midnight here. God bless each and every one of you. I'm Ajahn V. God bless you. Favor and it agrees this time. I got it right. God bless you. Florence, God bless you. And Kofi Uzu, my son, wonderful son. God bless you. And Ajahn V. God bless you. God bless you. And Peter, uh, Yama, God bless you. And Florence, God bless you. Florence, Missy, God bless you. Regina, God bless you. Everyone, wherever you are, God bless you. Today happens to be one of my beautiful sons. And, and somebody will say, why a man, but you are calling beautiful. You see, when a man is so handsome, to the point that his handsomeness exists, he's called, he, he, we, we termed it as beautiful. So one of my wonderful sons, Peter, Peter, uh, Peter Barton, uh, God bless you. Thank God for your life. You are United States of America, Chicago. At the moment today, you are celebrating your birthday and it's your birthday that is so awesome. And um, wow. you just send me a message, say, Daddy, uh, I would like you to pray with me. It's my birthday and it's a landmark of my birthday, son. I'm pr very proud of you. Very, you are very loyal, dedicated. You've always been there. Son, God bless you. We thank God. Pray for long life for you. Pray for peace for you. Pray for joy for you. And I pray for favor. May as you celebrate your birthday, may God put you where you belong. May God catapult you to a higher height and a greater ground. In amen. the name of Jesus, amen. I have bless you. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Please. Coming Sundays week, I'm celebrating 19th anniversary for Destiny of Solar Church International. It will be so exciting and so wonderful to see you in the auditorium of Destiny. Uh, it shall be a blessing. We invite every one of you on the 14th of November. It's going to be a joint service. First service, second service, how can we all meet in one? Please make sure that you come. 11 o'clock. Uh, I will be here on Thursday midnight to Friday. Please join me again today. Even though the network wasn't that great, yeah, I can see fifty-one of already of you on the Facebook, and then I can also see over twenty people on the YouTube. God bless each and every one of you. I know the network has been terrible today, but I'm so excited that um, as many people dropped off or didn't come back, you have stayed. You have you have bear with me with a signal and we have stayed. So God bless each and every one of you, all the over 70 of you that did watch. I pray for peace and I pray for joy. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's share the grace together. 
and now uh, may the, may grace the grace of, of the lord jesus christ the love of god the and love of god fellowship of the holy spirit the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now with us now and forevermore amen amen surely goodness, goodness and mercy shall follow us all, all the days of our lives and we shall we dwell, dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen, amen. God bless you. Thank you very much for all my producers. And Ajman, God bless you for the great job you have been doing for the kingdom business. Joshua, uh, thank you very much for setting the studios, always making it ready for us to bring the broadcast to the people of God. Thank you so much. Florence, Missy, God bless you. Uh, young prophet.